Hey guys, how you guys been doing? It's your boys here and welcome back. Now basically, I know what you guys are thinking. Where is the layout Xenon? Uh, honestly, uh, this week is going to be extremely busy for me and I still got like 12 videos stocked up regarding my detail leak. I want to do post commentaries because I know there have been people that haven't watched uh, you know, live so they want to prefer the post, which I want to cover both of those uh, tastes. But um, you know, with everything going on, I just don't have the time to focus on layout. So for the next week, you guys will expect about every single day is just not going to have a layout in them. So I hope you guys can understand. Uh, this bell in particular, um, it's kind of getting late and I really want to bring you guys something on Sunday. So, uh, you know, I hope you can take this bell without the layout as well. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, don't don't worry. We're going to go with the layout, uh, you know, some sometime next week. But for now, let's just go with what we have. So I switch out to Gore, guys. He puts up the rocks. I burn it. Pretty self-explanatory to what happened up to this very point. It's a match against Marty. It happened on Halloween day. Uh, basically, as you guys can see, Mono Ghost versus Mono Water. Uh, he's got some of the threats that I'm really scared of, but basically the one that really stands out is Sharpedo. And he knows this fully well, that's why he's not gonna try to use it this early on. As you guys can see, no switches to Sharpedo. But then again, <laughs> Sharpedo is really not a switch you tend to make. That shark does not take any moves. Let me tell you, like, Sharknado? I'm sorry, but... Sharpedo is a, is a whole new school, you know, a whole new school of horror, an absolute terror, uh, destruction, but you just don't switch into it, you just don't, that thing is paper frail, like even Pikachu's bit slap would destroy him, but still, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna roost, he's got knocked out, props to him, this is a very cool Pokemon, I gotta give him that, I gotta go for the burn, I do go for the sub, I didn't want to reveal the sub this early, but then again, he does, uh, he did put up the rocks, I don't got uh, any chances of getting rid of it, so basically, may as well reveal it now while there's still chance. He's gonna burn, he's basically gonna destroy my air balloon when I was uh, under a sub. I, I thought that sub protects it, but it doesn't. So, you know, you learn every day. I'm gonna go for the Fire Blast right now. He's gonna switch out to Manaphy. Uh, now, I do manage to get a burn, which is so typical when you think about it. Uh, you know, Halloween, day, uh, pumpkins and just basically chandeliers just burning away. I may as well do it on this very day. Wow, that actually rhymed. <laughs> Anyways, he's gonna go for the Skull, take me out. There's no reason for me to switch out, risking too much. He could Ice Beam, for all I know. Plus, he's looking pretty healthy, so I can switch out to Handoom and threaten it out. Uh, until maybe a little bit later on. Uh, because he's still in the range where he will probably take anything from me. So switch out to Rotom right now. He's gonna switch out to his Swampert. I know fully well he's gonna do this, so I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball, which would definitely fail against the uh, Manaphy and the likes. But Swamper does take this quite, quite well. Uh, you know, luckily the burn is kind of negating that lefties. I believe burn does a little bit more than lefties uh, give him recovering. So that's also a factor. He's going to go for the road. Wow. Uh, <laughs> there is a YouTuber called Rotom Factor. And just saying Factor and Rotom. Yeah, it's, it, it's a messed up thing. Anyways, he's going to go for the poison. He's going to, uh, yeah, just basically uh, spread around some poison. May as well do it while there's still chance. Earthquake I'm immune to. And he is burned, so Waterfall is not going to do much. May as well. Uh, just in case I switch out, who knows, uh, do something, uh, you know, on the switch. Uh, he's going to go for the Waterfall. I know fully well he's not going to Earthquake because of my Levitate that my Rotom does possess. So I try to avoid any further damage of Waterfall. Uh, as well as, well, basically, the thing is I could have outspeed him. But uh, I believe I wanted my Hornage in because otherwise Sharpedo will come in and start setting up against me, against my Rotom. And that is definitely not a thing I want to be a fan of because most of them tend to run Protect and Speed Boost. Uh, well, actually, you know, when I say most, I pretty much mean all of them in general. So switch out to Gengar, expect the Fire Blast, not really expect the Psy Shock or Scald, just a Fire Blast. I know that the uh, Unstab move should fail. Go for the Shadow Ball and uh, basically try to force the Slowbro out. But here is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Gengar is actually quite important, but I was looking at his team, he's got Azumarill still left and Sharpedo, and both can potentially run Aquajet. I thought to myself, maybe Gengar's days have been numbered outside of Slowbro. But uh, I, I I just decided, you know what, I may just take this, uh, you know, knocked out this Owl down with me into Hell while there's still chance and kind of take away one of his biggest special defensive walls, or do we say tanks? Well, it still does a reasonable amount of Nightshade, so let's just call it a tank to a certain degree. Just uh, switch out to Gorgas, it was a double down at this point, pretty much a blind switch. Fortune Manaphy is going to come in, which means I will have to switch out, expecting him to Ice Beam, hoping he's not going to overpredict. And he luckily did not all predict. Now Houndoom is gonna have his chance of glory 
right now to go for the Mega Evolution. Uh, the one chance I needed and also I'm gonna go for Protect to gain that speed to make uh, him outspeed the Manaphy and the likes. I didn't even know Manaphy's borderline which is kinda insane because he gets like Tail Glow and Rest Hydration. This thing is incredible with uh, Drizzle support but I guess uh, now how Drizzle works it kinda makes sense. Gonna go for the Dark Pulse uh, with the Protect, burn that little bit more damage. Uh, make it uh, killable, I guess I could say. I thought maybe if I just attack, but then again, I would have not outspeed, so either way, I had to protect there, go for Dark Pulse. Go for the Taunt here, expecting him to go for a Belly Drum, be one of them Belly Drum Citrus Azumarus I've been seeing, uh, being kind of famous. Uh, just generally knowing he resists both of my uh, Dark Pulse, both of my Stab moves, he could easily done it, but he did uh, make the better approach right now by going for the, you know, for the Play Rough Destroy Me. After that, I switch out to Voltam, outspeed him, go for the World Switch. If he switches out, it's fine. That take it way too well, ladies and gentlemen. Way too well. Unfortunately, the Honage is a problem here. I needed to preserve my Honage at reasonable amount of health, but he's been crippling me down. He's been scratching me everywhere. My Honage is starting to become very, very rusty. D did I say Honage? I mean, Dewblade is starting to become very rusty. And this is a huge problem because the Fane is Sharpedo is still healthy. And uh, I don't know if Dewblade can take any of his moves at the remain of HP he's at. Plus, Stealth Frogs, that little bit of damage, even with the resistance, could be important. Fortunately, I missed the will o -Wisp. You know, the thing is, if I would have not missed the will o -Wisp, I would have been at reasonable amount, uh, you know, much more healthy than I am right now. But, in the spirit of Halloween, may as well get some hacks. I'm gonna go for the burn against the Slowbro. And you just gotta use a pumpkin. You know, on, do on those days, you just gotta use a pumpkin. Unfortunately, my internet speed was so slow, I believe that even I managed to bypass Halloween day when I was uploading that. It was going way too slow, the video was processing forever, and uh, yeah, I kind of failed the uh, date of upload still, you know. Uh, uh, that, that, that's so off topic. Anyways, Fire Blast away, my pumpkin is pretty much long gone, Slowbro is still looking pretty healthy while still being burned, uh, not appreciating that I'm gonna switch out to Rotom right now, I'm thinking, okay, you know what, Let's go for the Shadow Ball, because I don't have the T-Ball, Shadow Ball is my strongest move, super effective move, unfortunately we fail short, Slowbro pretty much shows us he's got Assault Vest, uh, not seeing it anywhere, but he does have it indeed, he takes us out, and it, in the end, it again comes down to a Double Down, incredible, we got two Double Downs in here, uh, well one was the, with Destiny Bound, so that was not all that interesting, but you know, this one is definitely, the Double Downs are always nice, He's gonna go for the crunch, I'm thinking maybe it might remain or with Evil Light. Unfortunately, we do not take it. And Sharpedo is gonna take that beat. He's gonna take us out and make a new movie. Yes, a new movie with a horrible title. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have enjoyed this match as much as I did. Good game, Mar uh, Marky. I will leave his link in the description to his YouTube channel, I believe uh, he uploads. I'm not too sure, but I know for a fact that uh, he does have a Twitter as well. So, because this battle took place on Twitter and I take my battles on Twitter, so... That's a thing. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Today's question of the day is gonna be... Which games are you really looking forward to right now? Uh, I am looking forward to The Witcher 3. Uh, I haven't really beaten the second one. I played the first one, uh, but uh, I just love the main protagonist. I love the characters, the, the whole environment. And The Witcher 3 looks... It just expand upon the horizon. It really looks like one hell of an incredible experience. So I really look forward to that game. But that's me, and that's my game I really look forward to. What game are you looking forward to? Leave it in the comment section below. Thank you very much, guys, again for watching. Give a like if you did enjoy. I know there is no layout, I know, but, uh, you know, may as well. Uh, we still got 12 videos, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't watched live commentaries, you will get them post. Uh, lots of amazing battles. People know. People know what's been happening. But that's gonna be it for me today. So, until next time, guys, take care. Peace.